गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर अक्षर राजन थोरवत वर्किंग एज असोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल एंड एनवायरमेंट इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ऑटोनॉमस कोल्हापुर सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द सेशन ऑन सिवरेज सिस्टम कॉम्पोनेंट्स वे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजीज यूज इन सिवरेज सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ सिवेज कलेक्शन एंड डिस्पोजल देन वी विल डिस्कस वॉट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इफिशियंट सिवरेज स्कीम then sewerage system components and lastly we will discuss about the types of sewers which include separate sewers combined sewers and partially separate sewers so let us begin with the topic so initially we will discuss about some basic terminologies which are used in the sewerage system so here two important terminologies have been mentioned sewage and sewage there is always some confusion about these two terms sewage and sewage so sewage is nothing but it is the waste water that arises from domestic activities which includes washing in the bathrooms and kitchens including water from food preparations and dish washing but it does not consider or contain human excreta whereas sewage nothing but it is the liquid waste that includes sludge discharge from latrines urinals toilets industrial waste as well as storm water it includes human excreta or human waste as well as waste water from various sources then domestic sewage which is the next term which carries use water from houses and apartments it is also known as sanitary sewage as far as industrial sewage is concerned it is the use water from manufacturing or chemical processes then sewerage nothing but it is the entire science of collecting and carrying sewage by water carry system through sewers is known as sewerage and sewerage system nothing but it is the infrastructure that collects treat and dispose the sewage now as far as objectives of sewage collection disposal concern there are two important objectives first one to ensure that sewage discharge from communities is properly collected transported treated to the required degree so as not to cause any kind of danger to the human health and to dispose of sewage without causing any health or environmental problems so these are the two important objectives of sewage collection and disposal then the next point is what are the characteristics of efficient sewerage scheme nothing but which sewerage scheme should be called as efficient one so the sewerage scheme which provides a good sanitary environmental conditions which disposes of the human excreta and liquid waste generated from community to its proper place and proper manner then which treats the sewage as per the needs so as not to endanger the water body or ground water or land and which protects the receiving environment from degradation or contamination such kind of sewerage scheme is called as efficient sewerage scheme so these are the characteristics of efficient sewerage scheme now as far as types of sewers are concerned here you can see different types have been mentioned so separate sewer nothing but those are the sewers which are carrying the household and industrial waste only so we consider only the sewage which is generated from household levels as well as from industries so that sewage is collected in the conduit which is called as separate sewers then storm water drain or storm sewer nothing but these are those which carry rain water from the roofs and street surfaces then combined sewer are those which carry both sewage and storm water together in the same conduit so afterwards we are going to discuss about the separate sewer system and combined sewer system where i am going to elaborate more about these two types so in combined sewer we collect sewage as well as storm water in a same conduit so that's why it is called as combined sewer then house sewer or house drain nothing but it is used to discharge the sewage from a building to a street sewer and lateral sewer which is nothing but a sewer which carries sanitary sewage from more than one house sewers further there are more number of number of types of sewers so sub main sewer nothing but these sewers carry sewage from more than one lateral sewers and further it is connected to main sewer which nothing which is nothing but the sewer which receives the discharge from more than one sub main sewers then two more types are there outfall sewer and depressed sewer as far as outfall sewer is concerned this receives the total discharge coming out from all sewer systems and moves it forward for final disposal and depressed sewer nothing but whenever we come across some obstacles or obstructions so in that case we use this depressed sewer which is nothing but a section of sewer constructed lower than adjacent sections to pass beneath an obstacle or obstruction it runs full under the force of gravity and at greater than atmospheric pressure so such kind of sewer is called as depressed sewer now here in this slide you can see that i have mentioned the separate sewer and the diagram has been shown 
So separate sewer nothing but here two sewers have been used. The first one which collects sewage from household levels and from industries and second one which collects storm water from roofs and streets. So two separate sewers have been provided in this particular system. That's why it is called as separate sewer system. So you can see in this diagram sanitary sewer and storm sewer has been separately shown and the second diagram which shows how the storm water is collected from the streets. Now what are the advantages of separate sewer? So as sewage flows in separate pipe, hence the quantity to be treated at sewage treatment plant is small resulting in economy of treatment. So only sewage is required to be treated that's why the cost of treatment will be less in case of separate sewers. This system may be less costly as only sanitary sewage is transported in close conduit and storm water can be also collected through the open passages or open uh, drains. So that reduces the cost of uh, say conduits or cost of sewers. Then when pumping is required uh, during disposal, this system is economical due to less flow. As far as advantages of separate sewers are concerned, as sewage flows in separate pipe, Hence, the quantity to be treated at sewage treatment plant is small because we do not combine the storm water with sewage. That's why only sewage which is collected from sanitary sewer is required to be treated. So, cost of or, uh, treatment is less in case of separate sewer. This system may be less costly as only sanitary sewage is transported in close conduit and storm water can be collected and conveyed through open drains. When pumping is required during disposal, this system is economical due to less flow. As far as disadvantages are concerned, the first disadvantage is that self-cleansing velocity may not be developed in the sewers. For example, self-cleansing velocity nothing but it is the minimum possible velocity of flow which is required to be maintained so that the silt or any particular matter which is carried away by the sewage will not be deposited at any of the section. So due to self-cleansing velocity, the minimum flow can be maintained in the sewer line so no deposition will happen. But in separate sewer, we can see that in some of the sections, uh, this, uh, the self-cleansing velocity may not be maintained and because of that, deposition will take place, silting will take place and over the period of time, the cross-section area may decrease. Then, there is second disadvantage that laying two sets of pipes may be difficult in congested areas. That's why it is not suitable for congested areas and it requires maintenance of two sets of pipelines and hence maintenance cost is more in case of separate sewers. Then the next type is combined sewer where in this diagram you can see that the sewage which is collected from the household levels and from the industrial areas is collected in the same uh, sewer line as well as in that same sewer line we are also collecting storm water collected from the roofs and streets. So it combines the sewage as well as storm water. That's why it is called as combined sewer. Once it is collected that quantity is taken to the treatment plant where it is treated, sewage treatment plant where it is treated and after that the treated sewage is disposed of into the water bodies. Now, what are the advantages of combined sewer? So, in an area where rainfall is sprayed throughout a year, there is no need of flushing of sewers as self-cleansing velocity will be developed due to more quantity because of addition of storm water. So, this is the first advantages of uh, combined sewer. Then only one set of pipe will be required for house plumbing. In congested areas, it is easy to lay only one pipe rather than two pipes, so it is more suitable for congested areas. As far as disadvantages are concerned, the first disadvantage is it is not suitable for area with small period of rainfall in a year because in that case self cleansing velocity may not be maintained. Then large flow is required to be treated at sewage treatment plant because in separate system we have seen that only sewage is required to be treated so cost of treatment is less. But in case of combined sewer as we are mixing sewage and storm water, so the quantity which is required to be treated as sewage treatment plant is more. So cost of treatment is also more. So this is another disadvantage. Then higher capital and operating cost of the treatment plant. Then when pumping is required, this system is uneconomical because the quantity which is to be pumped from the combined sewer, it includes sewage plus storm water. So the cost of pumping is definitely more than the separate sewer. Then during rains, overflowing may happen and overflowing of sewers will spoil the public hygiene because that quantity will be disposed of without any treatment into the water bodies. Then next type is partially separate sewer. In this system, 
part of the storm water especially collected from roofs and paved courtyards of the buildings is admitted in the same drain along with sewage from residences and institutions. So please remember that why it is called as partially separate sewer because we are not collecting all the storm water but from some of the surfaces like roofs, paved courtyards or from some of the uh, surfaces we are collecting storm water and partially we are collecting that storm water into the sewer lines. That is why it is called as partially separate sewer. The storm water from the other places is collected separately using separate storm water conduit. Why this system is required? Because using this system we can maintain the self cleansing velocity in the sewer line. Now here you can see advantages of partially se separate sewer. So it is economical and reasonable size sewers are required. Then work of house plumbing is reduced as rain water from roofs, sludge from bathrooms and kitchen etc are combined with discharge from water closets. Then flushing of sewers may not be required as small portion of storm water is allowed to enter in the sanitary sewage. That's why we can maintain the self cleansing velocity. So there is no flushing required. Separate flushing is not required for the sewer lines because we are maintaining the minimum velocity of the flow or we can call it as self cleansing velocity of the flow. As far as disadvantages of partially separate system is concerned, so you can see that increased cost of pumping as compared to separate system at treatment plants and intermediate pumping station wherever required because in separate system we are pumping only sewage. Whereas in partially separate system we are combining some portion of the storm water. So that quantity will be increased and the quantity which is required to be pumped and which is required to be treated that will be more as compared to separate system that is why cost will be more. And in dry weather condition self cleansing velocity may not develop in the sewer. So that will cause a condition where deposition or silting may take place. So this is the disadvantage of partially separate system. So these are the references. Thank you very much.